So after disconnecting the driver support unit ECU and powering the car on, I was given a fault. So all I did was restart the car and I was good to go. The fault disappeared, cruise control activated, and I was able to hit the expressway. Now, the biggest thing I noticed after hitting the expressway was the distance between my car and a leading vehicle grew. This is because the Eon took over the distance control. If you pay close attention to the gap, you'll see what I mean. So this is in normal traffic. If you look at the um, left, this was the DCU disconnected. Look to the right, it was when it was connected. Now, if you look at the leading vehicle, look at the distance from my vehicle to that vehicle on the cam footage and the GoPro, and look to the left and look at it with DSU disconnected. You can see the lead vehicle is way further off. On average, I usually set my speed up to 80 miles per hour to limit, and it's been it's stuck at around 68 and 70. Um, so, but in slow traffic, the biggest inference I notice when it comes to slow and stop and go is the gap between the vehicles actually with it being disconnected the car comes way closer to it and stop and go traffic which i really appreciate closing that gap is not as big of a gap so if you look to the right with it being connected previously how far i am from the truck and if you look to the left with it being disconnected how close my car gets to vehicles now when it comes to stop and go traffic and it makes a that makes a big difference because people cut in front of you if it's too big of a gap they'll rush around you all that stuff so i appreciate those changes but all in all, I'm really happy with the change. I'm glad I went ahead and disconnected it. So I use the unit all the time, but the time it's the most handy is in stop and go traffic. Dealing with that slow traffic in there for two hours is frustrating. Having the Eon really takes away a lot of the pressure of that stop and go traffic. And now that I disconnected the ECU, it took a lot more pressure. I don't have to worry about people behind me feeling like I'm, I'm taking up too much space, like I'm leaving the three car link gap and they're frustrated. I don't have to worry about people speeding around and gapping into my car. And, and then if because if they do it enough, you start getting like issues where they say take control of the wheel or the leading car is invisible, that type of stuff. But with me having it disconnected, I don't get those issues anymore. It stays right pretty close to the car in front of me. I won't say bumper to bumper, but it's like a half a car link distance, maybe less that it gives me now that I have it disconnected. Overall, I'm really happy with disconnection. So if you want to disconnect it, just know with normal drives, there's going to be a greater gap with the lead vehicle. But when it comes to stop and go traffic, the gap is far more closed with the Eon control and everything. I really want to appreciate Joey in the comments for letting me know about this. Because in my previous video, I was talking about the issues I was having with the distance with the update and i'm not sure why the update impacted the distance since the car was actually controlling the distance between cars i was reading on a couple forums a few people saying they're thinking it's because maybe expanded the radius of what is scanning on the eon and it's looking at the cars in the right lane or the left lane and it's anticipating the merging so it's keeping a slow pace in a distance that could be the case i don't know with the update i assume like there was issue when it came to gap so removing the driver support unit ecu didn't fix the normal traffic like gap it actually expanded it but the payoff is stop and go traffic distance is way better and works much better i still have to reactivate the system when i'm driving i have to push the trigger whenever it comes to a complete stop but i read about something that can fix that so right now i'm just using a string to tie the cruise into place and that keeps me from having to keep triggering it but i did read there's a component i can add to my car where i only have to do that it will continue off where even at a complete stop it continue where it left off and i'm looking forward to that and i'll be posting a video for that as well all right guys thank you for watching as always have a great day